Hi, my name is Steven Simon and welcome to my channel. In today's video, we are going to talk about two very important yet fundamental terms of machine learning that is training data and testing data. Alright, let's get into the video. So to explain what is training data and tra testing data, let us take an example of a three-year-old kid. When a kid is three years old, his or her parents start preparing him to send him to school. And they start teaching him the alphabet, numbers, fruit names and vegetable. In our story, a three-year-old kid is being taught about the fruit names. So his father decides that he will teach him what is an apple and how it looks like. So on day one, the father reaches to a three-year-old kid. He shows him an apple and says, this is called apple. The kid's expression changes and he's like, why am I shown this apple? The father stops there. He again comes on day two and shows him an apple and he would again say that this is called an apple. His expression changes again, isn't it? On day three, father does not show shows him an apple. He would reach out to him and show him a mango. But he's not going to say that this is called mango, whereas he says, this is not an apple. You see, the father is trying to make his kid learn to differentiate between different fruits. On day four, the father reaches in him again and tells him that this is again an apple. This red color is an apple, right? Now day five is a tough time for the three year old kid because this time the father shows him an apple, but he does not tell him that this is called an apple. Rather, he asks him, what is this? The kid then may reply that this is an apple. This is how we humans learn. We look at things multiple times, right? And we try to memorize it. Maybe if you're looking at the camera, if you're looking at this black t-shirt, if you're learning A for apple, B for boy, we have uh, repeated these things many times so that we can store it in our brain. That is how we humans learn. In the same way, even machines learn it. When we use our data to train our machine learning model, the same approach we use it. So what do we derive from here? If you would see from day one to day four, when the parents was reaching to his three year old kid and telling him that this is an apple and this is not an apple, right? The parent was teaching, right? He was training his three year old kid that this is an apple. That was the training time. And on day five, when he showed him an apple and asked him, what is it? That was the test time. In the same way, when we go for machine learning, right? The time that is utilized by machine to learn, that is the training time. And the time that is used for the testing, that is the testing time. Now we all know that machine learning is all about the data. So we can correlate this term with the training data as in, the data that is used to train machine learning model is called training data and the data that is used to test machine learning model is called test data. It is as simple as that. Now, if you're working on a machine learning project, there are possibilities that you will get different set of data for training and different set of data for testing. For example, a CSV or an Excel file that will act as a training data, whereas another CSV file that will act as a testing data. That might be scenario number one. The scenario number two can be that you are given a hundred records in a single spreadsheet in, in a single CSV file. And now you need to divide your data in a particular proportionate so that you can use certain amount of data for training and certain amount of data for testing. The best ratio to divide your data in training and testing is 70% for training data and 30% for testing of the data. That is seven is to three. That is the best ratio that is considered. Now, if you have started working on scikit-learn or even in TensorFlow, this might be, you might be very habitual to it, right? But just remember that there are many challenges that you may also face while you're training or testing of your data. That overfitting, poor quality of data that you have, uh, you over train your machine learning model. Those are the beyond the scope for this video. As of now, all I'm trying to tell you is a data may be divided into training data and testing data. The data that is used to train machine learning model is called training data. 
means in a training data in most of the cases every single input is going to have a corresponding output if i talk about supervised learning whereas in testing data you give the data and you expect a machine learning model to make the predictions out of it and then you judge that if the predictions are right or wrong the lot more to be discussed in this video if you just go on and i just start programming it so uh, from my side that's all in this video i hope it was clear for you this example uh, that i have given you i hope that you watch it one more time so that uh, you can memorize it and uh, that's all simple is training data and testing data and most of people get confused so that's all from my side in this video thank you so much for watching my name is Stephen Simon don't forget to like and subscribe my channel see you in the next video